Hey, what's going on, this is Steven C. Raphael, your OMAD man. Promoting one meal a day. I've got over 150 or 30 or four, I don't even know, I haven't counted them. Videos on from social situations, what to do, from uh, kind of comedy about it. You know, I've, I've lost 60 pounds in six, six months and there I am, I was a fat, fat man. I even, got, I even got comedy songs here about it. Okay, let's see. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We are gonna, uh, I would like to first uh, start off by saying, uh, um, I'm, I'm gonna answer a couple questions from uh, people that uh, w want to uh, check out my cup. There's my cup, I am the old mad man. Oh, mad means eating one meal a day. I lost uh, 60 pounds in six months. And uh, first we're gonna talk about maintenance. Here is something that when you get the golden ticket like Willy Wonka, you, check, one! Gosh, can you guys hear this? When you get in, there are some things that you will not expect, and this is one of them. Okay, look at this. Look at, I tuck in my belt, and you, you, you all know that. Um, I tuck in my shirt. One thing is, People say, well, what do you do now that you're, a, I think it was Kevin, he says, now you, you know, you say you're doing Nomad, what, what do you do? You know, do you, and, and I told him, and I, I said, well, you know, I eat a little bit more food and I'm a little bit more loose, but I gotta be honest with you, I eat less food because my stomach, let me see if I have a picture of it, I, I know I do. Uh, let's see, where's my stomach here? Yeah, look, okay, take a look at my stomach there. Let's just use basic science. Take a look at my stomach here. It goes straight down. You know, when I'd go to the bathroom, I, I, you couldn't even tell if I was a boy or a girl. This thing came way out. You know how much food I could fit in that back then? But now, you know, my stomach is about this big. It's like I got one of those gastro sleeves or whatever. And, uh, and you know, if you get one of those and you keep eating like a pig, you're gonna gain all the, the weight back and you're gonna probably explode it. Okay, so... Uh, Okay, so what we're gonna talk about is my maintenance. So now I, I basically eat even less food. I mean, I, I, I try to, I, you know, I look at other food and I'm like, you, I don't know, I just, food is so off my radar because I was bamboozled for 30 years. 24, 34, 44, 54. I've got a, like a 30 year old daughter and from the day she was born, the day before that I was eating sunflower seeds and I was drinking one beer and I'm going, ah, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna gain weight here. Okay, I'd like to sh do, shout out to Megan Teal. You know, she says she's been watching me for two months and uh, she's kind of been failing. We're about three minutes into the show here because I am the old mad man. <laughs> Thank you for the people that sent me. Somebody sent me $12 because they lost 12 pounds. Boy, I was, that was incredible. Okay, I'd like to talk about Megan Teal. Yes, we're talking about you. Oh, she says she has to lose 80 more pounds. Let me tell you something. You know, I kind of forgot. I'm going on my eighth month now of uh, living the OMAD uh, lifestyle, eating one meal a day. One of the things that I did was I started off, I was networking with people. Uh, people on, on Facebook, was, there's uh, uh, eating one meal a day, nice people only. That's the one. It's only like 3,000 people and they, they don't like posts. There's another one on, but they're just trying to promote selling books. I won't mention that. And uh, but, uh, but Megan, you know, this thing, I get like 30 to 50 messages a day. Why don't you ask all those people what they did? Or, or you know what, better yet, you guys, since she might be timid, yesterday she sent me a note, all in caps of like, you know, oh man, man, oh man, oh man, I've been trying to, uh, you know, lose the weight and uh, I've been failing. She says, but she has lost two pounds. Can I get a one? Can I get a two? She'll be get, losing more weights, but it's very important so you don't feel alone. So, uh, you know, uh, so going back to the maintenance, you will, stomach will get smaller, food will be completely off your radar. Okay, <clears throat> now uh, another thing, so please you guys send her some love and say, uh, you know you guys always send me comments, oh, 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 oh man, man, you're, you play piano good and you're talented in this. Well listen, send some of that love over to Megan Teal. Uh, she made a comment yesterday uh, and just, Say, hey, you could do it. This is what I did. This is what, 
because you're only a failure if you just don't, if you just keep give up and just don't. I was a failure for 30 years. Now I'm a loser. I lost all the weight. So figure that one out. Okay, there's a girl named Sherilyn uh, in social social situations. Uh, no way they will. Okay, she's going to this uh, party. And uh, if you're going to a party, it might be a workday party. If you're going to a party, it might be a workday party. You don't have to eat. You don't have to shove food in. You know, she says there's people all around at their table and they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She says she could get by and she could say, uh, you know, I'm not going to be eating the, uh, I'm not a breakfast person. I can understand that too. But when it comes to lunch and they're all, you know, all these, every single, I bet you every person at the table is overweight. I will, I will guarantee it. And the only reason they're even at that convention is because they want the free food. Do you think they're listening to the presentation? I don't think so. Okay, so my thing, my thing, uh, Shara, uh, Sherilyn, what I would say is absolutely no way, I like you, <laughs> absolutely no way budge they're all gonna look around, especially the heavy set ones. Ooh, is she not to shove food in her mouth and, and put food and dead animals into her mouth? Who is she not to? I'd have to. You know what? They will respect you deep, deep down inside. If you've got 14 days of success, all you need is one or two days to throw you off. But even if you do get thrown off, Omad is very forgiving. And the thing about it is, uh <laughs> mess up you will always just be able to get back on the wagon <laughs> you'll always be able to get back on the wagon with old man okay now i want to go over uh, so basically today the the zen master proverb which i'm still going to do it is uh when you don't consider your reputation you can do anything Okay, so back to our scheduled program. Okay, I wanted to say that I've got a degree at the OMAD University. OMAD, OMAD, OMAD. OMAD is the life for me. OMAD is the life for me. Okay, I'd like to go into thing uh, here, eating one meal a day. You know the thing about it is, I always feel like I'm apologizing for myself lately. Um, you got every single day, you've got to reaffirm your decision to, uh, to eat one meal a day. You know what? Somebody comes in with some Eau Claire's or some donuts or some chocolates or some licorice or gummy worm or pizza. You know, all pizza is is bread with, with pretty, you know? Remember I did the show where I basically ate it and spit it into a thing and then this is what you're all freaking out about. You know, it's just an emotional thing that you grew up. Okay, I would like to say, reaffirm every single day. That's why I do the show every day. Also to play the piano, because I love playing the piano for people. There's no piano bars anymore. Sing me a song, you're the old mad man. Okay, uh, I'd like to say that I do not believe in editing. You know, I just watched another old mad guy. He's on like a day a thousand. I personally don't think, see much difference in his appearance. And he's going, well, you know, I, uh, you know, he goes, uh, you know, I, I, I said a couple eyes or ands or I kind of lost my faith. You know, you know what? I'm here to be your virtual friend and be your cheerleader, you know? And uh, I would just like to say, I don't believe in editing, okay? My brother does uh, music where, you know, every single drum sound for three hours is, is electrified or goes through this. You know, you know what? If I would have just messed up there, then that's it. You can't go through a traffic light and say to the cop, hey, sorry, I'm going to uh, edit that when I get home. You know what? There's no editing in life. You know, one decision you make is uh, basically it stands for the rest of your life. You know, so why not do every day, why don't you do a great decision that will impact tomorrow? And that is your Mr. Rogers Good advice, Stephen. You're good. Oh, mad man. Oh, mad man. I eat too much food. You know what? Well, the thing about it is eat less. I got a commercial. Eat less food. Okay, now I want to go on to this. I've talked about this at least five, ten times on my show. Um... <laughs> I'd like to talk about the bamboo tree. 
okay, I'm serious. Because all the people out there that are failing, you know, if they just watch the show every day, I might see something different. I know I regurgitate the same stuff. There's not much to, more to say about Oh man, you eat one meal a day, that's about it. You don't snack, you don't graze, and you drink black coffee. Okay, we're 10 minutes into this already. Okay, so basically here's what it is. You go and you get a little seed of the uh, bamboo, you put it in your backyard, and you water it. You know what happens after a year? Nothing. You know what happens after two years? Nothing. <coughs> <coughs> you know what happens after five years? Nothing. You know what happens after seven years? Zero, baby. But after about eight years, a little thing comes up and then it grows four feet a day. If it's gonna take you a week, a month, a year to finally figure out, oh mad, you know, then you've made the decision. Did it take you 30 years or did it take you that one minute that you decided? So once, so be the bamboo. I just wish I had a shirt that said, be the bamboo. Okay, and let me tell you about fatness, okay? Okay, you ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Okay, let me tell you something. The reason I'm playing hound chicken or hound dog is because Elvis Presley, you know, he was like about, I don't know, 115, 125 wet. Then he gets really famous, becomes actually not that nice of a guy. In fact, I knew his personal hair cutter. I just saw him on a uh, documentary. And uh, he got up to about 250. You know, I mean, he had balloon nation. I mean, why would you go on stage in a diaper and uh, lose because fatness doesn't care? You know, there was the rocket man, and now he's the fat man. We're talking about Elton John, you know, and... Uh, I, it, fatness doesn't care. It's like you could plant a sunflower seed or you could plant deadly nightshade and the same thing's gonna come up. They're both gonna come up. You could either plant death or life. And uh, you, do you remember that Warner Brothers cartoon? I've said this a lot of different times. A uh, little quick commercial. Uh, pick a certain time. Uh, pick, uh, mine is at five o'clock. I live on the planet of Omania. There's a restaurant that opens up from five. You know, if I could get done for two hours, I could eat slowly, you know, if I wanted to. But food is just not as important to me anymore. Plus, I love to eat. I wish I could binge. I'm not joking. Uh, I'm just kind of joking, but I absolutely can't eat. If I bought a whole bunch of food like I ate before, it would be all over my carpet. It would be thrown up, you know? And another thing is like Sherilyn or whatever, or uh, I think it was Julie that uh, she did, she's down to in the 150s now. She lost tons of weight. And uh, unless somebody's really bugging you on, on it, do you remember that Warner Brothers cartoon with the little frog? Hello, my baby, hello, my honey, hello, my rat tiger. You know, the little frog and he was singing and then the, the bum next to him tried to make money off him. But he, he wouldn't tell anybody. He just wanted that one guy to know. Don't tell anybody that you're doing OMAD. Don't tell anybody. If people say you're getting thin, just say, you know, I'm cutting back on the calories. That's what I do, okay? Drink only black coffee or water. And, uh, and uh, I'd like to say that if any of you would like my food log for the last 120 days, in the description of this where it tells about my coffee cups and tells about certain different things and PayPal and all that kind of fun stuff. It says, you know, just send me an email or if you want to reach out and you don't feel like posting your private stuff on my, on my thing, send me an email. I'll, I'll write you back as a long, nice emails. I check it like once, uh, once a day. And, uh, I just wanted to say this, even though I've already said it, Nomad man, how do I not tell people about my weight loss and still become their friends? Here is what you should do, grasshopper. When you don't, oh, I went into my Jewish voice. When you don't consider your reputation, 
You can do anything. I can do anything for you, dear. Anything for you. Okay, now let me tell you one thing. Okay, we're uh, almost out of time here. I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this show. Actually, there are no sponsors. The sponsors are basically uh, my grandma. So, Stephen, get back on to your show. You know, or also I have the devil. Yeah, you know, you can eat whatever you want. I do. Look at him. You know, if you're on the fence, if you're Humpty Dumpty, you're gonna fall. Okay, um, I don't, I'm, because of the size of my stomach now, uh, you know, I can't, you know, I just want to tell you one thing, you guys, before I go back to the planet of Omania, um, <laughs> You know, you're gonna be hungry for the first week and a half. But it, people ask, does it go away? Check, one, absolutely it does go away. You will not be hungry. But you gotta go through the muck and mire and there's gonna be a banquet. There's gonna be a birthday party. There's gonna be somebody inviting you out for a free dinner. And another benefit of OMAD is the fact that when you get bored and you've lost all the weight, you won't even consider eating because it doesn't even come in your mind anymore. I've ate eight, eight months of this. Do you think I binge? Do you know how much stuff I've been through in the last eight months? I had a nice, beautiful house. A lot of things. Now I'm in a, in a studio apartment because things weren't working that out. But do you think I'm going to binge? It would probably help my thing, but you know what? I can't binge because my, I've, I've, I've dwarfed my stomach. Well, OMAD is the life for me. OMAD is the life for me. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. But I'll leave you all behind and face the truth. Okay, well, I hope you learned something. I will see you tomorrow, and I like you all.